I'm going to talk a little bit more about relations and a setting that may be useful to people that are getting into the new Sketcher. So it gets a little easier to see what's going on the screen until you get used to it and then you can return to the default setting. Okay. Um, looking at this image, I just captured an image. This is the default size of those relations, found or persistent. It doesn't really matter. That's the size they appear on screen when you uh, go looking for the relation. Now, under File Utilities, Customer Defaults, there is a sketch setting under General for relation constraint symbol size. It's default is three. What I've done is I've made it a little bit bigger, making it five. Cancel. I did the whole restart thing and did all that. So that's why I had that image up front just to sort of speed this whole thing up a little bit. So you don't have to watch that. Now when I go in and put in my rectangle, this is exactly what I did the prior time. I'm gonna pick that point. Okay, notice the size of those relations. Okay, notice how big they are. All right, see the difference between those two? See how big that is? See how big that is? So it becomes a little bit more obvious as far as what you're looking at on the screen. Now, yes, you can make them really, really large, and yes, they can uh, sort of cloud up your screen a bit, muck up your screen a bit. So I, you know, I don't recommend making them too big unless you're like my half-blind father that can't really see anything. But um, you know, in that case, just by making them a little bit bigger makes them a little easier to see where they're at and what they are and so on and so forth. Okay, and now that I have them a little bit bigger, if I go in there and apply a relation. Again, this is a non-persistent relation. This is just a standard relation. I'm just going to pick that and that. I'm going to make that collinear. Now when I pick on this line, those are my collinear relations. They're a little easier to see. Okay. Now if I look at the symbol, right, you see the two collinear lines. Well, it looks just like that symbol right over there. Right? If I look at a vertical line, or horizontal line, that's my horizontal and my vertical. Okay, some of the other ones, they look a little different. Okay, um, you know, if I pick these two and said make perpendicular, now when I pick this line, pick that endpoint, well, they technically are perpendicular, right? So it didn't really apply anything because the system knows it's perpendicular. But if I have something like this, Go ahead and put that in. Pick this and pick this. Say make perpendicular. Now when I pick that line, pick that point, there's my perpendicular relation. Okay. Now if it's horizontal vertical, you can see by applying that relation, the system just ignored it. It knows that it's horizontal vertical. It knows it's already perpendicular. But in a case like this, it went in and applied it. Now because I made my symbols a little bigger, it's a little easier to see those relations. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw in an arc. I'll go from here to here, and I'll ahead and trim that, trim that, trim that. I'm going to pick this. I'm going to pick this, and I'm going to say tangent. Okay. Now, when I pick on that line, there's my tangent relation. You can really see it. Okay. I'm just getting the dimension out of the way, but you can really see that relation. That's what the tangent relation looks like. Okay, so by making the visualization a little bit bigger, you can have a better idea quickly see until you're more used to it, and you can make them a little bit smaller back to the default size of three. Um, but this gives you an, a better idea of what's going on. Okay, so. Uh, for those of you that are know, I know are having a hard time, I've gotten a lot of comments and a lot of emails about it. Uh, for those of you that are having a difficult time with it all, I would strongly suggest this as a little help to help improve the visualization for those of you that are struggling a little bit. And then again, once you're used to it, take it back to its original size and everything is good.